And the Fargo Five, we've got Jeff Epsch, the owner and operator of uh, Broadway Rickshaw. Very interesting uh, company that does a pedicab, uh, which is basically where you just, or a carriage, a man carriage instead of a horse-drawn carriage, just a man carriage. Hello, Jeff. Hey, Conrad. So, you know, you can listen to the last segments, uh, which went a little long. That's all right. It's very interesting. Yeah. I, I think it's fascinating. I like everything you've got going on uh, thus far. And what we want to know in the Fargo Fresh segment is what's going on in the future. What's the future for the pedicab? What are your plans? What's your designs? What do you see happening? Well, a couple of big things that happened in this year is uh, when Jade Presents contacted us and asked us to be shuttle service, and that went really well. Um, we got a lot of good comments from them, so I'm looking forward to that partnership uh, there. Um, and then uh, the group that organizes the Scandinavian Festival, they got a hold of us, so we were shuttle service for them. Absolutely. So just uh, getting... The word out so people know that we're there uh, getting more private bookings and then we have the brewery tour set up so get, trying to promote that more and uh, um, so that's you know trying to get more more tours and pre um, scheduled events so we've already uh, discussed you're not uh, you're not a young man no nope, I mean I, I am uh, not you you uh, you went into college when I was born <laughs> and and I'm starting to feel old at 38 <laughs> um, so engineering I mean I don't know you know people talk and of course I'm self-employed so the, even the idea of retirement sounds weird to me but people talk about someday I'm gonna stop working and then do what I don't All know right. what you do with your life when you're not working but are you going to keep engineering forever, or are you hoping to to expand this and like just work until your heart gives out, or what's what's the plan for you like ten years from now? Are you still engineering? Are you still biking? Are you biking more, biking less? What's the plan? Okay, so one of the inspirations uh, for me on long term biking is I've got a friend that owns a very large pedicab business in Minneapolis. Oh. Uh, Steve McCarty, he owns Twin Towns Pedicabs. Uh -huh. He's got 40 pedicabs. Whoa. I've got a little little small business with three. three. Yeah. He's got 40 of them. And some of his drivers are in their mid mid to late 70s. Yeah. So it's something wow. that I think I wow. could continue to do for quite a while. Yeah. Um, my, my plan is when I retire from engineering sometime in my early to mid 60s uh, to be able to continue to do this part time. Yeah. And then be able to, in the winter, head south, uh, you know, and uh, um, pedicab at events down in, like, Arizona or Florida. That's amazing. So you, oh. you really want to be the man behind the wheel. You want to be the one doing it. That's your I, real passion? I, I, I love doing it, and I do love running the business part of it. So I, I, I love both. They're I, different things. They are very different things. Yeah. Yes. And, and, and I, this year especially uh, – I've created uh, getting the second limo last October created the opportunities for other drivers like my son Elijah and Bert and Ashley to to grow that way. Uh, so it's it's both. I, I love both the challenge of growing a business and I, I just love pedicabbing. I like to bicycle too. I really like uh, physical exercise. Biking is so great. There's something about just being under your own power and moving at that kind of speed. It's very satisfying. Do you like to run? I hate running. Like I, hate I used to, to. Yeah, but you've to, always but, been uh, like a runner. I, I used a restaurant. I ran in high school and college, and you know, I just you did. Uh, I I enjoy biking more. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, YouTube actually gives us something to talk about in the fresh segment as well, and so I just want to. I should have asked you because if you have nothing to say about them, that's fine. But let's let's see if we can create some content on behalf of the YouTube <laughs> algorithm. Okay, so some fresh content for YouTube. That was the original. The original structure of the show is the fresh segment was talking about the algorithm. Um, and this one's interesting because it might have, it might actually cross paths with the future of your business. They want to know about remote control auto rickshaw. Remote control auto rickshaw. Have you heard anything about those? I have not, but I could see that happening in the future. I've been to Scottsdale and see the driverless cars, the Waymo. So, so a driverless rickshaw. Yeah, the is driverless that, rickshaw. Is that something? Are you going to buy one but, of those? Uh, Elon Musk just came out with the with the robots, right? That you can buy. <laughs> have you seen those? I have uh, seen them. Uh, you just put one of those, yeah. and you've got your remote control auto rickshaw right there. You, you know what? The one thing that people love about the rickshaw, yeah, is human interaction. Oh, conversation, relationships. 
It's not just the bike. Yeah, it's not just the bike. Yeah. And, and that's why I got the, a lot of regulars that will call me and they love riding. And so it, it's, it, yeah. it, it's not the bike. It's the man. <laughs> it's the man. <laughs> <laughs> and and you had so much success. What a compliment to you. Well, thank you. People like you, you, huh? No, I mean, I, yeah. I, I think that's, that's probably what that shows. Well, that is all the time for compliments we have because we are running out of time. So now I want to get to the next segment, which is Fargo FAQ. So we're going to jump out and right back in. It's going to be so fast. Okay. Lincoln, you'll miss it. So uh, really, don't go nowhere. <laughs> 